So there's a lot of LED strips on the market and we want to, for growing, we want the brightest ones. And, but a lot of them claim to be brighter than the other. And when you're ordering from China, you really never know what you're going to get. So I went ahead and bought four models that I thought are good and I wanted to test them out. First we have this 2835, which is 120 LEDs per meter. So they're small diodes, but they're pretty frequent. We have the 5630, which is 60 LEDs per meter. So they're less frequent, but they're bigger. We have this 3014, which has 204 LEDs per meter. So they're tiny LEDs, but there's a ton of them. And then there's this 7020, uh, which are big LEDs and they have 60 per meter. So, we have this 12 volt, uh, 5 amp power supply from China as well. Uh, we're going to put the LEDs up near the camera up there, and we're going to plug them in one by one and see what, we're going to use a phone, uh, which isn't super accurate, but uh, we're going to use it on all of them, so we should get a baseline of results so we can tell. <laughs> I'm going to do this all in one take, uh, so bear with me, hang this up. So I've actually grown with the uh, 5630 LEDs. Last year, and they worked perfectly fine, but they're a bit older, and there's newer models of LEDs like the 2835, which are supposed to be more efficient. So, we wanted to see really which is the brightest and whatnot. So, now we're gonna put this guy up here. We're using the same power supply, the same kind of cords, the same setup for everything, the same length of each strip, even though there's different per meters. And it's about a, you saw the strips are about 10 inches long. It should give us a good sample. So, first, we're going to plug in the bigger. 70-20 LEDs. Oh, and uh, the phone is about, right now it's about, let's see, it's about 18 inches away from the lights. Let's plug it in. Okay. Uh, I don't know if you can see, but this is a very cool light source. Yeah, you can see. Um, looks like we're about 700 or 800, 18 inches away. As we get closer, this is about 12 inches away. We're up to 1400-ish. If we get even closer, we're up to about... Well, you can't see because we're a little bit off the screen, but it, it gets up to about four, 4,500 if you're just like one inch away. But as you can see off to the side, about because the way the light spreads, if you're way off to the side but really close, you're going to get absolutely nothing. So it's about six inches to the side here. Oops. <coughs> but if you let it go if you're farther away the spread is bigger as you can see so normally I would think you would have them about 12 inches away from the plants so you get about 1500 lux okay let's unplug the 7020s
All right, good. I forgot how my clip work. Uh, let's see. Now we have the 3014 with 200 and four LEDs per meter. Here you can see it actually is brighter than the oh, sorry is brighter than the 7D20s. Has more LEDs per meter, so it's about at 18 inches. It's about 1,000 lux. And as you get closer, so at about 12 inches, we're at about 2,000 lux. <laughs> and then as we get even closer, you guys can't see it, sorry, but about 6 inches or 3, no, about 3 inches away, we're up to, wow, we just got up to 10,000 lux. Yeah, you can't really see because it's about off balance, but uh, at about three or four inches, we're at 10,000 lux. At six inches, we're at about 4,000 or 6,000. <laughs> so that one is the brightest so far. Let's unplug that one. Now, one thing I'm not taking into account is the heat, so I may have to do a test about that, too. Okay. Well, you can see this one is the least bright. It is the 5630, which is the older model of LED. <laughs> you can see it's only about 500 lux down here at 18 inches away. At about 12 inches, we're up to 1,400-ish. And if we get really close, we can still only get a max of about 6,000. <laughs> so, not very powerful. Let's unplug this one. But that one is the cheapest. They're only about $2.00. For the five meters of strip. Okay, lastly, oh man, <laughs> this one is not very bright either. This one is the uh, 2835 with 120 LEDs per meter. So you can see we're about 370 at 18 inches away. 12 inches away, we're about 1,000 if we're lucky. Yeah. <laughs> if we get even closer. About two or three inches away, we're at 3,500-ish. But if we get like one inch away, it's 47, 38. So, there you have it. It seemed like our 3014 lights with the 204 LEDs per meter were the brightest. Let's go ahead and uh, take this down. I want you guys to see that all the LEDs are actually working. <sighs> all right, so this is the uh, 56, oh, this is a 2835. You can see it looks pretty bright. Well, there's an interesting reflection you can see. Anyway, uh, so all those are on. This was our 5630. 
can see all those are on. You can see the reflection there. <laughs> this was our brightest one, the 3014. Yeah, it's much brighter. You can see there's, you can see all the LEDs lining up. Very bright. Kind of hurts to look at. And, uh, this last one was the 7G20. You can see it has a much cooler color, so I don't know if that could play into it. And you can see they're all lit up. So, yeah, that was just a quick test of the LEDs. I guess the 3014 is the brightest, but it also, I think, was the most expensive. Yeah. <laughs>